I just don't believe, Porter, you worked as hard as you needed to work to be what you could have been. I believe you left, you left the Hall of Fame career on the table. I've told you that. This ain't something I'm just not sharing. You could have been that. You, you have. And, and I look at it totally different because I feel like I did all the work uh, that I needed to do. And I, I look at, I was having this conversation recently about guys and workouts. You yep. know, I wasn't a guy for workouts. That, that just wasn't me. I hated weights. Um, but on when it came game day, I was the toughest, strongest man on the field. So uh, I didn't see too many other people diving in 300-pound guys' chest. I didn't see too many other people hustling 70, 80 yards, trying to throw a block, you know, to carry out my fate, run to the other side of the field, come back, crack back, then carry the ball. I didn't see no more dudes doing that. I was the only one playing at, at that level. Every Sunday – that I touched the field, I felt like I was the baddest man on the field, no matter who the, the person was across from me or no matter who my teammates was. I stepped on the field and I walked off the field feeling like, hey, I was the toughest man out here today. So um, that workout stuff just wasn't for me. And Porter, think about what you said. Like, oh, man. Porter, think about what you said. You played in the NFL, not a contact sport, a collision sport. The most physical, grueling, demanding, Sport there is, and you say work ain't thing for me, and you don't think that that sped up. Part of you had to leave. You left the game at thirty, bro. I left the game at thirty for a different reason. Like I left the game at thirty because I realized it didn't matter. Once Sean T, once once they moved Sean T. Locker out of the locker room, my love for the game disappeared. Okay. You see, you see what I'm saying? Like yeah. uh, everybody looked like, oh man, you left the game so early. No, I sat in a locker room where for a guy that we looked at as a as a, a a god and I saw them remove his locker and put someone else there to create space. It was plenty of space in the locker room. Right. You could have built a new locker. Right. You didn't have to remove Sean Taylor locker. Right. At that time I was too sensitive. You see what I'm saying? I was too sensitive okay. at, at that moment and it happened too early. Right. You know, now I think it's a great idea that everyone gets to see it and you know it's in the stadium and every fan and any anybody who wants to uh acknowledge sean or see sean gets an opportunity to walk past that locker or take a picture but at that time i i could i could never swallow that pill you know uh when i see a guy that that did everything that laid it on the line and he became replaceable that quick it changed my outlook. Like, um, because you know, I was one of the most competitive guys. It didn't matter what it was. I didn't have to know how, but I believe in me, you know? So when, when I see a guy like Sean, who still has an effect on the world, uh, so, so positive after all the negative that happened, you know, like in the beginning, he was a villain in, in he turned that villain into the most lovable, respectable, guy that you could possibly find you know everybody is influenced by sean taylor i played with ed reed and sean t they don't get no better than that nah. as teammates that not to mention anybody else that i played with but i played with ed reed and sean t like bro you gotta be kidding me and when when i see a guy that could have been the face of the nfl the best player in the nfl and you remove his locker i just never along with me having a coach that didn't understand me. You see what I'm saying? Like everything happened at, at, at the same time. I lost my grandmother. Sean get killed. We bring in, 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 in a coach that I didn't see eye to eye with that, you know, I felt like was trying to sabotage me when I'm trying to put it on the line and do everything that you're asking of me. You're instead of throwing me under the bus. So it was so much happened in – Coach Gibbs was your head coach? Man, I'm talking about Coach Zorn, not Coach Gibbs. Coach who? Coach Zorn. Okay. Jim Zorn, Zorn. okay. Exactly. Right. You you see what I'm saying? You don't even know who it was. Coach Zorn. So it was so much happened that took the love away from the game because you feel like, man, I'm going out here and fighting. I'm throwing haymakers. I'm throwing punches. And I'm running through walls, whatever it takes. And, and now my head coach punching me in the back of the head. Like, I'm trying to fight for you. You punching me in the back of the head. Right. So it was just one of those situations that my appreciation and, and love 
I felt like wasn't reciprocated. So it separated me from the game. So that's why I retired. That's why I walked away from the game because I couldn't give it that same, I'm that the passion, toughest that man. Desire I, didn't that I didn't care anymore. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't care anymore. And that was, Coach Shanahan came and I, I'm reunited with Bobby T who I got the most respect in the world for Bobby T. To right. this day, I still talk to Bobby T. Yep. He still reach out. You know what I mean? And when Bobby T came back, I I don't even think Bobby T saw the dog that that he remembered. You right. know what I mean? And I couldn't I couldn't. This my man. This Bobby T. This is the man who raised me and put me in position to go out and win. And I can't be. You know, you I don't have that 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 dire. Um, you that, couldn't that give him the effort that you once could. Yeah, because I my love wasn't the same. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I felt like I was cheating the game. So I wanted out of the game. And and you know, I even told uh Dan Snyder when we called. Dan said no. Coach Shanahan said no to me retiring. Um both of them said no, that's a bad idea. But I told him, Hey bro, I'm cheating y'all. You know what I mean? I'm cheating you, I'm cheating my teammates, I'm cheating me because I really don't care. Like I really it don't matter to me anymore because I don't love this anymore. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.